Hello everyone. It's officially summer and it's so nice outside. But instead of going outside, here I am, indoors, recording a story time. As you guys can tell by the title, I have another story time for you guys. It's been a hot minute since I made the last one, but now I'm back on it and I hope you guys enjoy hearing me talk about stupid things I did back then. So today's story time, as you can tell from the title, is about the time I got in trouble for bullying someone and that person turned out to be my best friend many many years later. Before I start the story, I just wanted to clarify that I don't condone these actions. Being older and looking back at it now, I realize how wrong it was and it's honestly just unacceptable to do to anyone no matter how much you dislike them. Don't be like me. Before I even start the story, that's the lesson. So that's my little spiel on that. Now let's get on with the story time. Oh by the way, in case you guys see me like looking down, I have my notes like right here. <laughs> so that's why. So this happened in the sixth grade and it actually involved sunshine from my suspended story time which was actually my very first video. If you guys want to check it out, it's right there. So this happened a year before the incident that happened in my suspended story time just to give you guys an idea of where it falls in the timeline. This story also takes place in the same school that I mentioned over there but in case you guys haven't seen it yet, I just want to give you a brief overview of what the school is. In that story time, I called my middle school the box, so we're just gonna roll with that. The box was a pretty small school, so everyone knew each other. And since they taught grades kindergarten through eighth grade, a lot of us had been in that school since kindergarten or first grade, so we essentially grew up with each other. Our class size prior to the sixth grade was probably around like 20 to like 22 people. Yeah, it was like really small. But then in the sixth grade, 10 new people transferred into our grade level so that gave us a class size of 32 which was honestly pretty big for that school. Some of the people among the transfers were Sunshine and this girl that we'll call Veronica. So Veronica and Sunshine became friends very quickly which is understandable since you know they were kind of in the same situation. They just transferred to this new school and they didn't know anyone there but for some reason the majority of people seemed to know each other already. My friend group at the time consisted of some people, people that I had been with since kindergarten and there's one person that's particularly important in the group, we'll name her sweetheart. So we became friends with Veronica and Sunshine, we, you know we accepted them into our little group. We'd sit together at lunchtime, hang out during recess, everything was good until Veronica and Sunshine started having beef with each other. I'm not sure exactly how this started because it was mainly between those two. Essentially what happened is that Sunshine started drama and she basically talked behind Veronica's back. She would spread things about how like Veronica didn't like her and was just like being fake to her and everything like that. Eventually she started saying the same thing about me, which obviously rubbed me the wrong way. It was some really petty stuff that I shouldn't have taken to heart, but I did because, you know, 12 year old me was on some crack. So this drama is essentially what divided our group. Obviously there were people that were siding with Veronica and also people that were siding with Sunshine. Sweetheart happened to side with Veronica, so I did as well. One reason is because she actually did spread stuff about me and also because I was really close with sweetheart so I kind of just followed whatever she did. I know that's that's not a good thing to do. Literally this is for anyone of any age. Like don't follow what other people are doing just because they're doing it. It really doesn't matter how much you like them or how close you are as friends. Like if you don't believe in that, don't do it. At first we did really subtle actions to kind of get the message across that we didn't like sunshine anymore. We did things like kind of ignoring her whenever she wanted to sit with us at lunch. You know, it's really, really dumb stuff. <laughs> These little actions just started piling up and they got to the point where they were way more severe. It got to the point where we would purposely rub it in her face that we didn't like her. And you want to know how we did this? So sweetheart and I, we made a song, a rap, and a dance to show how much we dislike her. I... I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I wish I could show y'all because it's really dumb and just hilarious at the same time how we thought we were actually doing something with that. I swear we were on some petty shit and I don't know why. Another thing that I did was I had this diary that I would always bring to school and I let my friends read it 
Which, if you think about it, that kind of defeats the purpose of a diary. <laughs> like, aren't diaries supposed to be something that no one else reads? I don't know. I was a dumb kid, as you can tell. But basically, in my diary, I would draw like really grotesque cartoons of her. I draw her as a troll with like boogers hanging out her nose. And I also write really hateful things kind of to like get back at her for her talking shit about me. So you can kind of see the extent that this bullying went to already. But it gets worse. <laughs> It actually gets worse. One day, Sunshine decided to create this chat room specifically for our friend group, where you could create a username and message everyone, basically. All you had to do was type in a username and then type your message. Like, there was no passwords or accounts or anything like that. She invited us, like me and Sweetheart, and basically everyone who had sided with Veronica. Honestly, all she wanted to do was make friends, and that was really sweet of her to do. But me, being the dumbass that I am, I just had to ruin it. Anyone who had the link could join the chat so she had given all of us the link and when i had the link in my hands i decided to go on to it you know create a username since we were able to put in like any username that we wanted i picked something that wasn't necessarily related to my name but you could still tell it was me i don't know if that makes sense you know how within your friend groups you become like known for a certain thing or your friends just give you this random nickname like it was one of those i picked one of those names i don't remember what exactly it was but i just remember it wasn't like my name straight up so then what i did. I started writing really cruel messages and they were specifically to attack sunshine. Now I did this on my own will, like no one told me to do this, no one else was doing it before I did. That was clearly all on me, like I did that. And I did it in such a shady way too. I would log on for like two minutes and basically just blast her within those two minutes. Like I just say everything I wanted, I didn't care if she replied in that moment. I just said all of the mean things that I really wanted to write. And then after those two minutes, I'd just log out and you wouldn't see me on there until the next day. So I did that stupid thing for about two weeks until Sunshine brought it up to our English teacher. We'll name her Miss Soup. Miss Soup was the kind of teacher that was just really nice and fun and approachable, so everyone loved her. Sunshine had told Miss Soup because basically that was her favorite teacher. Before I decided to write all those messages, I didn't even stop and realize that the chats were permanent, so anyone who had the link could see it. The chats didn't get deleted after a certain amount of time or anything like that. Like, they were just there. Since Sunshine was also the one who had created the chat room, she could also look at all the messages messages and she could screenshot them, distribute it to anyone really. So she had shown Miss Soup what I had written about her in that chat. One fine day, Miss Soup pulls me aside after class and she asked me if I had been sending mean messages to Sunshine. So now I got caught and I was in trouble. At this point it was clear that she already knew everything that had happened and there was no getting out of that. Like. Even if I wanted to lie, I couldn't. So I admitted to her, like, I told her that I did this. And I, I cried a little. She was my favorite teacher too, I didn't want her to think anything bad of me. And I also didn't want her to like call my parents or the principal, you know, have it escalate further. So she told me she wouldn't do anything as long as I apologized to Sunshine. So obviously I did apologize to her. Like, I remember being so sad about this, but she honestly went pretty easy on me because she easily could have told the principal or called my parents and had them come in after school. So for the next few periods, I basically bawled my eyes out and I hated Sunshine so much for telling Miss Soup I just did not want to get in trouble. I was pretty scared of getting in trouble. The thing is, it obviously wasn't her fault that she told Miss Soup. Like, that was the right thing to do, really. 12-year-old me was just too entitled and I really thought that I could get away with stuff like that without any sort of consequence which is obviously not how the world works. I'm glad I've learned that the world doesn't work that way now because I would be very concerned for myself if I still thought that way. A few weeks after that happened, we eventually just forgave each other and we didn't become friends like immediately after that, but after a few months, we started becoming like close friends. We became close friends by like seventh grade and then seventh grade is where the suspension happened. So that's the end of the story time. I'm not proud of the fact that I did that but I do appreciate that I've learned from that and also that I was able to build a new friendship and 
still continue with to this day. I guess it wasn't all bad. Some good things definitely came out of it and I'm happy for that. You guys honestly have every right to judge me. Like, I don't care. Roast me in the comments because this was actually some dumb shit. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing me talk about this. If you guys want more story times, like all ideas are welcome. I'm pretty sure I have a story time for any type of thing you're looking for. Stay safe guys and I'll see you next time.